everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 46, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance that I cannot pronounce. U-A-L-V. All right. Let's see who they've banned. Hercules, Warlock, and Mantis. Okay. And you can see all the rest there. All right, let's uh, take a look at what we got in store for us. Okay, so we've got Namor, and he's a global uh, defender. All right, we've got infamous Iron Man. He does have an armor up. Um... I probably won't bring, uh, well, Gallon can do it, but let's see who else we have. Ah, Viv Vision, I get to get revenge, so we'll definitely have a little revenge there. And, um, okay, he definitely gets armor ups there. Okay, so... Hmm. We've been allowing someone to... Uh, oh, that's why they um, banned uh, Mantis. Because Mantis was tearing up uh, the um, Onslaught bosses. All right. So, I'll probably go ahead and bring... Um, Corvus can probably do these two fights. And let's see, Mutant. I might bring uh, OG Iron Man. Yeah, I think I'll bring OG Iron Man, uh, Corvus, and Hulkling. That way uh, I can take this guy out, infamous Iron Man. Could take him out with uh, Corvus, too. Hmm. Yeah, I might do that. Because um, Corvus, I think, can take all three of these. I hate putting too much on him, though. So, but let me see. Corvus, OG Iron Man. And if I did that, I'd be free to bring Onslaught again. Hmm. OG Iron Man might be able to take a couple of these out here. These three mutants. Hmm. That could be interesting. All right. Well, do I want to bring... Because I do like Onslaught. I really do. Um, hmm, Borg, huh? That could be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Might not want to mess with that. Um, yeah, I better just stick with Hulkling. But I'll bet you, um, if they see it, they might say, oh, you could just bring Corvus, which I, I, I could. I just hate putting all of that on him. It's a lot of fights for him, and, and it most likely will mean I have to uh, use potions. And I try not to, if I can spread out the uh, fights among my team. Um, and Hulkling can do uh, that OG Iron Man fight there as well. And let me see. Hulkling, actually, yeah, Hulkling can do that fight. Okay, yep, we'll do that. 
And I'll even see if I can sign up for, well, yeah, we'll see. He might uh, give me that fight. He might give it to someone else that doesn't have a counter. Uh, I'll leave that to him. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Hulkling, Iron Man, and Corvus. And you already know who Corvus is for. All right, we got to get some uh, revenge with Corvus. So first one up is Namor. And as you can see, he is a global defender, but he's also a mutant. So OG Iron Man is great. But even with being able to block the uh, unblockables and all that good stuff, still take a whole bunch of block damage. I have had to heal up so much more often this season than any other season before. And it is ridiculous. But apparently that is what Kabam wants. You know, I can see them now just giggling. Yep, now it's a little bit more challenging. Yeah, this is not fun, okay? I think they lost sight of what's fun, you know? But anyway, look at this. Can you imagine if I was not able to block that? Ridiculous. Look at this. I'm just taking damage after damage. None of the uh, attacker tactics help with that Dauntless or the Root. And you guys know how I feel about Root. That it's like tying your sh I, I don't even want to talk about it. It triggers me so bad. I honestly thought about skipping this season. But I was kind of trapped with Banquet and I'm just like, you know what? Let's just deal with it. Okay? But I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. So what I ended up doing is just taking the attitude of whatever. I'm going I'm to go in, you know, I'm not going to purposely lose or anything, but I'm just not going to even worry about it. I'm just going to be laid back. If I die, I die. If I use up all my items and everything and I can't use anymore, oh well. That's just, that's just what's going to happen, you know. So anyway, uh, this one, I'm in and I'm basically going to try and do the long game. That's why you saw me switch up to do medium lights instead. See, instead of doing medium like medium, because I know he's going to heal at the end. OK, so now one of the things that's annoying, if you'll notice, because I'm putting armor breaks on him, um, he has willpower. So he's healing up a little bit. OK, and I got right now I've got 12, 11 charges left. And he's not even into his regen phase yet. All right, so here we go. But I had the uh, boosts on. Look at that. Now he's finally in his regen. And I got nine charges left. Okay. So I got to stretch this out. Okay. Of course I was going to use that. All right. We're almost to another uh, special. I couldn't have done this without those boosts. Maybe that is what Kabam wants. Because people weren't using the boosts. So they probably were like, oh, well... Uh, if they're able to do this without the boost, then clearly we need to ramp it up a little bit more. Well, it's probably working as intended then, isn't it? Because without those boosts, there's no way I would have beaten him with uh, Corvus. Um, but anyway, uh, the next fight, we finally got through that. No problems so far. And we have our little revenge match. If you guys remember, I went up against her, um, I believe, with uh, Magneto. I thought Magneto's magnetism was going to suppress the effects, but I was wrong. So I had just guessed wrong or figured wrong. I thought I had used Magneto before on that node against her, but maybe not. Maybe I was mistaken, but Corvus tears her up on this node. 
hands down. Okay, first of all, even if I were to just hit her, the bleeds are not going to do a whole lot of damage like they were doing against Magneto. But first thing I'm going to do is parry and just go in. Look at all those armor breaks. Look at this. Why use anybody else? That's just crazy. So Corvus, when I see her on there, definitely, unless I need to bring somebody else in. All right, now, with this fight, he is an Avenger, as you can see. So I already have one charge on Corvus for the tech that I just defeated, Viv Vision. She's not an Avenger, but Iron Man is. And so I was sitting here thinking, because I have to use Corvus for another fight. And so I'm like, hmm. And then I was thinking, I, I don't believe... Iron Man, the way they reworked him, um, is immune to armor breaks or anything. I think he's immune to nullify when he's going against a mute. So I did that, and I was like, oh, okay. I said, all right, we set. We good. As soon as I parried, and I saw that, I was like, yeah, we good. See the shock? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't matter. We just tan him up. Easy. Boom, boom. Boom. Done. No problems, okay? So Corvus, that was a nice Corvus path, um, quick and easy, all right? And now I have two charges. So he's even more powerful now. So I was assigned this fight, okay? Uh, it was not the fight that I wanted. It's not the fight that I requested. That is why I brought Hulkling. You'll notice that Hulkling isn't being used because I was going to take, um, I think it was a Zemo up there uh, on that node. I was going to take him, but they needed me on this spider ham. So I'm like, all right, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, you know, shock bleed, not worried about that. He's got two charges, you know, I'll buff up, get to my, uh, special two. We should be good. Okay. So, I'm thinking this fight should be pretty straightforward, all right? So see me uh, uh, boost up, and I'm going to tell you something about this fight. The fight itself wasn't my issue, and you'll see in a minute what my issue was. All right, so... You know, boost up. We got the uh, um, special. There we go. Cosmic power back. So we get to that special two, and it should be a wrap, right? All right. So we good. Now, one mistake I made. I should have used another boost. Okay, the boost I should have used, and you'll see which one I'm using here. I use an invulnerability boost. I should have used an advanced power boost instead. Um, but I was thinking there's going to be shenanigans. So the invulnerability boost should give me enough time with the shenanigans to get to um, a special two, right? All right, so here we go. Don't ask me why that parry didn't work, but it's cool, all right? He's already got, you know, a bar of power. All right, there he goes. Now he's got two bars of power. I'm like, what the hell? And look at this. There goes the, the invulnerability. I couldn't get away from it. And then that was unblockable. I'm like, are you kidding me? All right, we just need to evade this. See what I mean? So early on, all I'm trying to do is dash back to get away from him. And you saw I got kept getting hit. Then all I needed was to evade that one special. I could have gotten to a special two. And we could have been rolling. That didn't happen. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like I said, I'm not even worried about it no more. 
them kind of things don't seem to happen. They rooted me. Maybe that um, affected my timing. I'm just looking for some reason other than the bad inputs that I swiped and didn't move. So anyway, so now I'm just going to go back in. Got to heal up again. Working as intended. Using up um, these uh, uh, boosts and everything. Still have the uh, invulnerability boost on. So I'm just like, all right, well, may as well. All right. So here we go. There we go. Medium, light, medium. Medium, light, medium. Okay. Now I want to evade out. Look at that. I tried to evade and it was a parry instead. Okay. Look at this. I'm just like, am I going to die again? This time I just go in. Screw the special too. All right. All right. All right. That time it worked. That time it worked. Congratulations. All right. I didn't even feel like uh, I, I did an achievement because that first fight should have gone way better than that one. Should have gone way better. But it is what it is. All right. So we had a death. And as you can see, we had one person left here. Uh, so we'll be back in a minute. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And surprisingly, we won this war. Guys, everybody was surprised. We were pretty sure that we had lost this one. Look at the score. Look at the score. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe we had won this. That is what? 60 point difference. Wait, no. 240 point difference. Crazy. Okay. Look at this. Both had def um, the same uh, defender diversity. Look at the attack bonus. We barely, barely got this one, y'all. Shout out to our MVPs. So the winning streak continues. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.